All right, so we've made our way uh, kind of into the heart of the park here. I guess we're on the, the what, the northern end? Uh, uh, yeah. And we're taking a look at what is now the Museum of Science and Industry. But uh, back more than 100 years ago, this was the Palace of Fine Arts during the uh, World Columbian Exposition of 1893. Uh, it was designed by an architect named Charles B. Atwood. A lot of people, uh, when they think about the uh, Columbian Exposition, think of uh, Daniel Burnham and all the work that he did in terms of planning it, but uh, there were several architects who all got to design buildings here, and this was Atwood's building. Um, is it true that it's the only uh, permanent building from the White City? I, I want to say that this is the only one uh, that's here, uh, although I would say that uh, just as lasting are these lagoons that you see here, uh, which were a prominent part of the exposition. People could uh, float through these on gondolas. They had an island where, if I remember correctly, they actually had real live Indians that lived out there <laughs> for a few months when we could go out and we could uh, see their campsites. And today you have real live fishermen. Yeah, yeah. fishermen. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. um, Jackson Park's a very, very popular fishing destination. The, uh, the pier that we started out on um, you can usually find at least a couple of fishermen over there. Um, and these lagoons are always full of catfish fishermen. And uh, looks like these folks just found their, uh, their sinker. Uh, you know, one, one major difference between Jackson Park and um, some of the other Olmsted parks, I mentioned Humboldt Park before, is that you feel much more secluded here. Um, the trees are dense, as is the other uh, foliage and underbrush. Um, and you can go long periods of time with it without seeing other people, which you know, it could be a good thing if, you, if you're a birder or something like that. Um, but it could it could also make the park um, a little little more dangerous than some of the other big city parks. I just walked through the gate into the Japanese Garden, or as the sign says, the Osaka Garden. Not quite sure what that means, but uh, it's a it's a nice little area. We're feeling pretty zen in here already. Uh, a lady hanging out with her dog. Some youths hanging out, just uh, probably a UFC guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we give you that idea. <laughs> and, it takes uh, one to know one, right? <laughs> you could say that. And then, you know, we've just got like a very nice little mirror pond right here. Uh -huh. A waterfall. Uh, exactly. Some cattails. That dog. Is wagging its tail. Couldn't be happier. And uh, yeah, it's just a very, very pleasant atmosphere. Small uh, Japanese garden, uh, but we're not complaining. I, I actually, I don't know of any other Japanese gardens in Chicago. Um, I know there's one at the Botanic Garden uh, way up in Northbrook, but uh, in Chicago, this this might be it.